Hello, it's the IT guys here. Welcome back to our final tutorial on Microsoft Word 2013. Today we're going to be having a look at Mail Merge. So, before we get started in Word, we're going to hop on over to Excel and have a look at what we need to set up before we start. We're now in Excel, and as you can see, I've got a series of fields here. There are other options you can include, such as email address or phone number, but these are the features that I want to appear in my Mail Merge. These are my titles, and this is the list of recipients I want to send my letter to. I haven't been very creative, I've just come up with two people, and just random names of places and postcodes. Now, once you've created this, I've named this sheet recipients and I've saved it. Now we can close Excel and hop back into Word. We're now going to start the mail merge. We're going to go to mailings, and we're going to go to start mail merge. You can, if you wanted to, choose Select Recipients and type a new list of recipients here. However, I recommend using Excel. So, we're going to start a new mail merge. I'm going to go to Step by Step Mail Merge Wizard. I'm creating a letter, so I'm going to leave it as letter. Wherever you're creating labels, envelopes, or emails, etc., select the relevant one. Now click Next. I'm going to use the current document from the mail merge. You can use an existing document or a, from a template. I'm going to click next. I'm going to use an existing list and now I'm going to browse and find my list. There we go, I've selected my Excel worksheet now. And it's showing me a list of sheets. I only got one sheet in my worksheet and it's called recipients. So that's the sheet where my data is on. So I've selected it and click OK. Here's the list of my data. You can choose to uncheck certain recipients if you don't want the letter to go to them. You can uncheck all or check all here. I am going to leave every recipient in. If you wanted to, you can sort or filter the recipients. You can also remove duplicates, etc. Now we're going to click OK. And now we're going to click Next. I'm going to add an address block here. This is the layout I want it to appear in. So it's going to be Miss Sarah Williams, 11th Street name, city name, ABC 123D. If I scroll over, we can find our other recipient. If it hasn't detected the fields correctly, you can click Match Fields. And this will let you match the possible fields with the fields in your spreadsheet. Click OK. This is what I want, and this is where I want it located. So I'm going to click OK. I also want a greetings line here. So I'm going to click greeting line. Dear Mr. Jones, etc. This is how I want it to be displayed. There's other options, so like this one. I'm going to go with this option, and I'm going to click OK. Now, what you can do, we're going to go to next. This is now letting us preview them. We can use these options here, or these arrows, to scroll between our different previews. So, these are the letters that are being produced. So it's going to be Mr. Bob Jones, their address. I'll say, dear Mr. Bob Jones. And again here. I'll do this for as many recipients as you have in your spreadsheet. Finally, click Next to complete the mail merge. This gives you the option to edit individual letters or print the individual letters. When you're done, you might want to print the individual letters. If you chose email, then you'd be able to send multiple emails. But if you're situated in Word, print is the general option. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like subscribe and leave a comment. But for now, goodbye.